All new at 10, Tulsa police are cracking down on gang violence. Recent shootings have the neighbors really on edge and officers taking action. Nathan Edwards rides along with TPD's gang unit. It's a story you'll see only on two. If we have a spike in gang violence in a certain part of the city, uh, then we'll direct our efforts there. The focus in July, North Tulsa. Sergeant Vic Rigolato drives us to North Peoria. Are we going through a specific area right now? Yeah, this this area right here has been the uh, scene of, a, oh, I don't know, four to five shootings. An officer in the back seat keeps his eyes open for any suspicious activity. Then silence comes over the car. He spots known gang members flashing hand signals. Did you suspect there was maybe some possible movement back there? Mm -hmm. Gangs in Tulsa peddle drugs, prostitutes, and illegal guns, and their feuds often spill into the streets. Most recently, a shooting that killed a 16-year-old girl here at MLK in 46th Street. It's one of the more senseless uh, gang murders that I've, I've been around. You'll see his picture right there. To crack down, this group of 15 dedicated officers work their informants, make frequent arrests, and confiscate guns. It's only the end of July, and we've seized a to over 120 firearms from gang members. It's a good start, but there are a couple thousand gang members in Tulsa. Overall, when you compare us to a lot of the other cities, uh, this size and bigger, we're really not that bad. But there are still some areas plagued by crime. And police need your help to clean up our streets. We need the community to step forward. And there's this belief that if they step forward, well, they're going to be in danger and, uh, you know, they're going to be killed. And that's not the reality of it. Police say there's gang activity all through the city. Look for a list of the gang hotspots on our website, kgrh.com. Live in South Tulsa tonight, Nathan Edwards, two works for you.